Hello my lovely viewers. This is Kokon from KokonLive.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can take your WordPress website backup manually. There are several ways to take WordPress website backup, but best way to do that is take WordPress backup manually. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can take your WordPress website backup manually. If you don't know WordPress very well, don't worry, this tutorial will be 100% beginner friendly. So without wasting any time, let's get started. This is an e-commerce website by WooCommerce. I finished this design and now I want to take backup of this website. If I need, I will restore this website from that backup later. This is for safety. So if you want to take backup of this website, let's go to cPanel. Before take a backup, let's understand what we are going to do. I will take a backup of whole content here like image, text, everything you are looking at this site. So I will take backup of whole files and I will take backup of database. First of all, I will take a backup of data. This is a cPanel and there is a file manager. I want to go to the root folder of this website data. So at a file manager, click to public underscore HTML. These all are my website data. So I will compress all this file. To do that, I'll select all this file, select all, then compress. You will see several extension here. You can choose any one of these, but for now let's choose zip archive, then compress. It's done. This is my folder. I can rename it any anytime. Let's rename it. You can keep this file in this folder or you can download for safety. Now I want to take a backup of my database. To do that, I'll go to phpMyAdmin. This is my database. You could have uh, several database there, but if you, if you want to know what is your exact database for this site, you can check it from your WP config file. Open it, edit, you will see define db name. This is your database. So you will find this name at phpMyAdmin. So this is my database. I will click to this database. Now all these are my uh, database. So I have to take a uh, backup of this database too. So how to do that? Pretty simple. Just click to export, then format is SQL, then go. My database is downloaded. My common practice is I always take two times backup of the database. So I will take this uh, database backup again. Let's see. These are my database, both are same um, and file size are exact same. I have seen in my experience sometimes it was incompleted database so it could uh, for internet speed or uh, somehow there were uh, several file size one of those are uh, stopped uh, somehow so this is why I want to back up and check is everything fine so is everything fine I will delete one of these so this is my database here is my database and here is my files. So if I need any time to restore this file to my website, I can do that. I usually take uh, all of my clients website backup every month like this. If my site got hacked by someone, if my file deleted or any reason if my site destroyed, I can recover this file from here. How to recover this file? I will show you that in next video so keep watching if you need any help related to wordpress woocommerce please visit my site i'm ready for freelance project that's all for now hope to talk to you again in another video until take care bye bye